online classes. Today we are going to learn about coordinate geometry. In our previous class, that is ninth class, we learned how to plot any point in the coordinate system. So, taking a quick recap of what we have learned in ninth class. So, in coordinate geometry, we have the coordinates in the form of x and y, where x coordinate is called abscissa, y is called an ordinate. They can also be called as x coordinate and y coordinate and they together form a coordinate point. So now we are going to plot some points on this coordinate graph like 2, 4. Now the first one is the coordinate of x and the second one is the coordinate of y. So I will take 2 over x axis like this is the x axis and this is the y axis. So I am taking 2 on x axis. 4 on y axis, right? So I am going to draw a line through 4 and here through 2 and now this point is 2 comma 4. Similarly, minus 2 and 2. We will take minus 2 of x axis, that is this one and 2 of y axis, that is this. So, I will draw it like this. So, it will be minus 2, 2. Now third point is 3 minus 3, 3 of x axis, positive x axis 3 and negative y axis minus 3. So this point will be 3 minus 3 and the fourth point is minus 2 and minus 3, negative of x and negative of y. It will be like this, this point will be minus 2 minus 3. So basically we have four quadrants, quadrant 1, 2, 3 and 4. In the first quadrant both x and y are positive. In second x is negative but y is positive. In third x and y both are negative and in fourth quadrant x is positive and y is negative. So the main thing we need to remember is that the first one is for x and the second one is for the y. Now we are going to discuss about the concept related to coordinate geometry that is distance formula. Till now we have learned about how to plot any point on the graph. Right? But now we are going to find the distance between any two points given to us. So suppose there are two points given to us x1, y1 and x2, y2. I have plot this point somewhere on the graph like P x1 y1 and Q x2 y2. Now the distance formula for these two points is given by equal, D equals to under root x2 minus x1 square plus y2 minus y1 square. Right? But how is this formula is derived? Right? This derivation is not for the purpose of examination but it's just for the logical understanding of the formula. Right? Suppose these two are the points on the graph that this is x1, y1 and this is x2, y2. What I am going to do, I am going to draw this PR and QS perpendicular on the OX axis. Right? What I have done, I have drawn PR and QS perpendicular on this X axis. Right? We need to find the distance between and Q. We need to find P, Q. Right? So I am going to join this line and name it as T. Right? We can see that this triangle is a right angle triangle. Right? P, Q, T is a right angle triangle. So I can apply Pythagoras theorem in this triangle. But for that purpose we need to find this Q, T and this P, T. So now, look at, looking at the graph, if this point is x1, then this point should be x1, right? If this is x2, so taking on the x-axis, it should be x2. Similarly, if this point is y1, so this point should be y1. And if here it is y2, then this point should be y2, right? So now, now looking at the graph, we can say that Rs, Rs is equal to Os minus Or. Right? Rs is equal to Os minus Or. 
Now OS is equals to X2 and OR is equals to X1. So we get RS equals to X2 minus X1. But RS is also equals to this PT. So basically we get value of Similarly, if we look at the y-axis, we can see that this SQ is equal to ST plus TQ. So, we, we need to find the value of this TQ, right? So, TQ will be equal to SQ minus ST. And SQ is equal to this Y2 and ST is equal to this Y1. So, we get the value of PT, like this line. And this QT. Now applying the Pythagoras theorem in triangle PQT, I can say that PQ square equals to PT square plus QT square. This is the Pythagoras theorem. Hypotenuse square equals to perpendicular square plus base square. Right? Now putting the value of PT and QT. PT is equals to x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. If I take this square on the other side, it will become under root and I will get the value of pq. So this is how we have derived the distance formula. We can see that this is exactly what our distance formula looks like. So this is the formula we need to always remember for the distance between any two points in coordinate geometry. Looking at the example of distance form, right? This is our distance formula. We are going to apply in the this example. The example is minus 5, 7, minus 1, 3. These are two coordinates given to us and we need to find the distance between them. So first of all, we are going to write the values of x1, y1, x2, y2. Now I am taking x1 equals to minus 5, right? This one. So automatically y1 will be equals to 7. This is my x2, x2 will be minus 1 and my y2 will be equals to 3. So I got all the 4 points we need for the formula. So I am going to apply this in the formula. Under root x2 minus x1 square minus 1 minus minus 5 whole square. x1 is itself in negative so that's why I put it in bracket. Now y2 minus y2, 3 minus 7 whole square. Now I am going to simplify it. Minus 1 minus minus 5 minus 1 plus 5 whole square plus 3 minus 7 minus 4 whole square. It will become under root 4 square plus minus 4 square. Right? It will be under root 16 plus 16 it will be under root 32. Right? We can also simplify it by making the square root of it. Like if I take 32, we will factorize it 2, 16, 2, 8, 2, 4, 2, 2, 2, 1. So we can see that these two pairs are complete. So we will write 2 into into root 2. So the answer will be 4 root 2. Right? There are basically three types of questions which can be asked related to distance formula. The first one is the very simple one finding the distance between any two points given. The second is proving a specific property. Some points will be given to you and you need to find that what kind of the shape it makes. So these questions can be classified into three categories that collinearity, triangle questions and quadrilateral questions. So first of all, what is collinearity? Collinearity means if there are three points given to us, three points, so they should lie on a straight line. If I take three points like this and I join them, they are not in the same line. So these points are non-collinear. And these points are collinear. This is the property of collinearity. Now how are we going to show that some points are collinear using the distance formula? It's very simple. Suppose A, B and C. Three coordinate points are given. 
A will be some x1, y1, B will be some x2, y2, and C will be some x3, y3. Okay? Now, how to prove collinearity? We will find the distance between two points, right? I'll find distance between AB, then BC, and then AC. Now, the sum of any two points should be equal to the third side. If I say AB plus BC equals to AC, if I get this thing, or AB plus AC equals to BC, or BC plus AC equals to AB. Right? We can take all three properties into the consideration. If any of the three conditions satisfies, then these points are collinear. That is the sum of any two sides should be equal to the third side. Right? Now, coming to the second thing that is triangle. How are we going to prove that which type of triangle is it using distance formula? So, the question will be of three types. Okay? Isosceles triangle, equilateral triangle, side triangle. For isosceles triangle, we are going to remember the property of our triangles. What is the property of isosceles triangle? That any two sides are equal to each other. So, if A, B, C are three points given to us, we will see if A, B, B, C, A, C. These three sides we will get by using distance formula and any two sides will be equal to each other. They should be equal to each other, any two sides. The third side we don't doesn't need, right? But for equilateral triangle, all three sides should be equal. Like AB should be equal to BC and it should be equal to AC because equilateral triangle are the triangle in which all sides are equal. Now if we are to show right angle triangle that these coordinates make the right angle triangle, then we are going to prove the Pythagoras theorem for the question. If we are given A, B, C three points, we will find the distance between A, B, B, C and A, C and then we will prove the Pythagoras theorem for these three sides. If it is satisfied, then the triangle will be right or then other can be right. Now the third is quadrilateral. If we are given four points now, for the quadrilateral we will be given four points and we need to prove which type of quadrilateral is this. So there can be four parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus and square. For parallelogram, we are going to show that the opposite sides are equal. We will get AB, BC, CA, CD, AB. Right? These will be four sides. AB, BC, CD, AB for four points given to us. And the opposite side should be equal to each other. Like AB should be equal to CD and BC should be equal to AD. Now for rectangle, we know that the opposite sides are equal because every rectangle is a parallelogram. But there is also one thing we need to prove that diagonals are also equal. We need to prove this thing in this question too but we also need to prove the diagonals. Now for rhombus, Rhombus we know is a figure in which all the sides are equal. So we are going to show that AB equals to BC equals to CD equals to AD. All four sides should be equal. But square is a special type of rhombus in which diagonals are also equal. So similarly in square we are going to prove this property plus diagonals should be equal. Diagonals are equal. We are going to prove this too. So these are the questions which can be asked based on the distance formula. We, we need to either show it's collinear or it form a particular type of a triangle or these points form a particular type of a quadrilateral. We are going to do a question based on the property we have learned earlier. That is, we need to find that these three points given to us are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. Okay, so these are three points given to us. I'll name them as A, B, C. I'm taking A equals to 5 minus 2, B as 6, 4, and C as 7 minus 2. Right, these are the three points given to us and we need to show that these are the vertices of an isosceles triangle. Right, now... 
for the isosceles triangle we need to show that there are two sides which are equal to each other so first of all we are going to find the distance between these three points suppose this is a triangle and here are the vertices a b c my a is 5 minus 2 b is 6 4 and c is 7 minus 2 so first of all i am going to find the distance between a b Right, so AB will be equal to under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square. Now I am going to hide this C point and I am going to apply this formula in A and B. Now x2 minus x1, 6 minus 5 whole square plus 4 minus minus 2 whole square over under root, right? Now what I am going to do? Under root 1 square plus 6 square it will be under root 1 plus 36 under root 37 right? Now BC will be equal to under root 7 minus 6 square plus minus 2 minus 4 square. If I apply the distance formula in B and C, I will get under root 1 square plus minus 6 square. It will be 1 plus 36 and I will get under root 37. My question is done here only because we get two sides equal but still we will find the third side. So I am finding AC it will be equal to now AC, 7 minus 5 whole square plus minus 2 minus minus 2. Minus 2 minus minus 2 whole square. It will be 0 and it will be 2. Under root 2 square, that is under root 4, which is equal to 2. So I can see that these two lines are equal. But AC is not equal. AB is equal to BC but AC is not equal to any other side. So two sides are equal. So if these coordinates are the vertices of an isosceles. The type of question which can come based on the distance formula is finding relations or values. What it means that some conditions will be given to you and you need to find either the relation between X and Y or the value of X and Y. Suppose we are given a question like a point x, y is equidistant, equidistant from other two points. Suppose, suppose it can be 2, 3 and 4, 5. Right? They are saying that x, y is a point which is equidistant from 2, 3 and 4, 5. What it means that there is a point x, y. Which is equidistant. Equidistant means that it is on the equal distance if I take from a point this and this. Suppose this point is some Q, this P, this is some Q and this is some R. Right? Now this R point is having some distance from P to 3. And R is also having some distance from the point Q, 4, 5. And it is given that they are equidistant. Like they are, they are given that these two distances are equal to each other. So there is a condition given to us that PR is equal to QR. So somewhere in the question we are going to use this condition and we will find the relation between X and Y. Relation means an equation in the form of X and Y. Right? This is a one kind of question. The other question is of other type. Like the distance may be given to you suppose 100 and one point is given as x3 and second point is given as 3, 4. Right? So there is a condition given to us that distance is 100 and you need to find the value of x. Similarly, they can say find the value of 5. They give 3, y and 4, 9. Suppose they give this kind of question and they will say find the value of y. So these kind of questions come in the category of this. Finding the relations or finding the value of a point. 
Let's take an example of the question relating to the relations between the points. Now the question is find the point on x axis which is equidistant from a to minus 5 and b minus 2 9. So they have given two points a and b to us and they are asking to find the point on the x axis. Right? Point on the x axis. We know that any point on the x axis is of the form x, 0. Because any point on the x axis, then the y has the value 0. And they are saying that this point x is equidistant from a, 2 minus 5, and b, minus 2. When they are equidistant, so they have given us the property that ax equals to bx, which we are going to use in the question. So the solution will be, now we know x is any point of the form x0 and this is the condition given to us. So first of all we will find this ax and then this b. Now applying the distance formula in ax, these two points, x2 minus x1, x minus 2 whole square, 0 minus minus 5 whole square, now x minus 2 whole square, we will use the identity of x plus y, x minus y whole square, that is x square plus y square minus 2xy. So I apply this identity over here and it becomes 5 square, that is 25. Now simplifying it, we will get this. Now similarly applying distance formula in bx, we will get x minus minus 2 whole square, 0 minus 9 whole square. This x minus minus will be x plus 2 whole square and this is minus 9 whole square. Again applying the identity a plus b whole square, we get the value like this and 9 square will be 81. Now we get this. Now we get the value of ax and value of bx. We will put these values in this equation that is ax equals to bx. ax value, bx value. Now squaring both sides, these root will be cancelled. Now, here is x square and here is also an x square. So, we can cut these x square and I'll transpose this 4x over this side and 29 over this side. And solving it, I get x equals to minus 7. Right? But, the answer is not complete over here because they find, said find the point on x axis. So, the point should be of the form of coordinate that is minus 7, 0. Right? So I hope you understand the concept of the distance formula and different questions which can be asked related to distance formula. Thank you.